Hey, Sneaky Lynx back in the house, and now I've got Quirky 1.0 from Barry Keller, the god of Papi Linux. And he's got Quirky going down there. Now he's using Quirky to just explore new avenues of doing stuff, what he wants to do. So I'm just going to have a little play with Quirky. As you can see, runs really, really nice. Just happens a few stuff, no crashing or nothing. You wouldn't expect crashing anyway, but I'm just showing you, just in case you've never heard of Quirky or Puppy Linux before, and don't know who the hell I'm bloody talking about. So anyway, Barry Keller lives in Australia. Bad accent, I'm sorry about that. And uh, he developed Puppy Linux, and it's got a really, really big following, as you all know, or some of you may know. And it's a really, really quick operating system that runs on any system, basically. So I thought I'd have a look at the new one. So anyway, look at this program here, Double F Convert. Basically a media converting program. I like these ones, as you all know. So you convert what video source or audio source you want to whatever you want to, what bit rate and whatever. It looks quite cool. I've not used it too much at the moment because I've only just playing with it, really. I've got too many distros on this hard drive. I think I'm up to 11 at the moment, so it's about to go bang. So I'll have to start all over again, as you do, doing what I do. So anyway, we'll go back to the clear screen. It basically looks like Puppy Linux, doesn't it? But it's just a different background and different icons. It's just a test one. We'll just see what we can do, basically. Monkey works fine. Super duper. So I'll open up here, and we'll go back to the iPlayer, which is Flash, basically. Works super, look at that. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. This is a V commemoration day about the old X craft. Blah, 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 blah. Read it in history books, you know what I'm saying? Oh, of course you do. But yeah, Sea Monkey works really, really good. I'm quite happy with that. It's a bit slower than an older puppy that I've used before, but obviously it's in development, so I'm not too worried about that, and nor should you be. It's, it's in development. Now, it doesn't use the basic puppy stuff, it uses the Woof development package. Now, Woof is... You know what, I'm not even going to go into it, you can go and read about it. But apart from Quirky, there's a few other puppy distros that use this, the Woof packages. And they can get hold of Debian and Ubuntu packages and use them, apparently. Now, I've tried a couple and the same, been very good at about it. But at the moment, you know, I don't 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 know. I don't know. But at the moment, some are working and some aren't. So we'd have to go from there. But no, check them out yourself. Just go to the Puppy Linux forum and you can see them all there. One is Up Up, I think it's called. And there's two others. One's cutting edge, one's medium, one's not some cutting edge. And just try them out. They are really small downloads as well. They're not like four or five hundred big bytes, like a couple of hundred at maximum. So check them out. But I've been going down the menu here, as you can see. Everything is there you would actually need for a distribution to use. So I'm going to use woof, and this is another media converter. Basically, put your media in there and you convert it to whatever one you want to. This one will be for, 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 for phones, maybe, or whatever you want to do. I think I've used that somewhere before to convert a film to that on a phone, I don't know. But yeah, there's that one. So, right click again, go to there. What can you see there? Oh, it's the other one I'll show you. Pup Radio, or Pup Telly. Now, this is a nice little app, actually, especially for Puppy. You can actually choose if you want to listen to a radio station or a TV station. So go to Pup Telly, as you can see. Now, F toggles is full screen, so remember, it's just F. It's not F1, F2, it's just F. And basically, you choose a program. Bearing in mind, they're from Australia, so, you know, you can put Australian programs, but you can put your own in. Now, there you go, I've toggled it, and there you go, you've got Sky News. So another one you can have in a little background there while you're working, doing your working stuff, or whatever you do. CPU, obviously we're doing video here. It's getting, you know, quite high now. But you would expect that anyway, wouldn't you? And there's Mr. Al fired because he's sold Harrods. Okay. Anyway, we'll try another channel, just to make sure it all works. ABC Kids? Yes. Of course, if you've got kids, you want to use it. And if you've got an old machine that you want to put in their room and they can do this sort of stuff, it'd be really brilliant, wouldn't it, when you think about it. Because, like, you know, you can actually keep an eye on them, what they're doing, and you put the channels on that you want. So there you go. Works fine. That must be ABC Australia, the kiddie ones. Not nice. It works fine. Not much more I can say, really, is there, about that. Yeah. 
It's a bit quirky, isn't it? It's a really bit quirky. Yes. So we'll close that down. We'll close down at the main program. I'm going to show you a bit more about it. There's not much to show, really. But, you know, you can put in your own stuff for radio and TV. Just put in your URLs and off you go, basically. Nothing more to do. So we'll quit that. What else should I show you about Quirky 1.0? Well, there's lots here. And you really, really need to download it yourself to find out what it's all about. Remember, it runs from a live CD too, so you don't have to install it. I mean, it'll take about 10, 15 minutes. Or if you're in a big city, probably about one minute. Unlike me, where it takes a couple of days or milk the cows first, you know what I'm saying. Oh. I wouldn't move back to a city. Anyway. As you can see, it looks yeah, no games though, but you can install them afterwards if you wish. Okay, so if we go to install, and we go back to the puppy package manager, in the puppy qu quirky section, there isn't much to here. There's some video drivers and stuff like that, and there's graphic stuff and what like that. Now GIMP, I do like to use, and it does come in puppy as standard, which is the bit I like. Now when I install a, a, pup, oh, sorry, a pet file like this, I like to get the processes out of the way and the extras. So look, we need them two as well. Also, them one, should I do? Or two, or four, or ten. I can't count. You click on the OK. We'll go to Netherlands and have a smook and download the packages. And we click. And then this is the long bit. Now, I must admit, I have edited this video quite a bit. Because by the time you wait for the downloads and the installing and the booming and the booming and all that, it's a long time, so we get the video a bit short and to the point, basically. So you get this orange bar updating, well, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, we're done. Oh, not exactly. This is the problem I had. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. I'll use this section so get the graphics. Gimp's there. Dum -de -dum, de -de -dum, does whatever it does. What a bummer. I wasn't going to get any GIMP. It weren't going to work, I don't think. Shall I try again? Yeah, give it one more try. Da -da -da -da. Nah, it ain't going to work, is it? It's not working at all. So what I thought I'd do, I'd reboot the system, basically, and see if that made any, any difference. So, you know, I thought, you know, that might make a difference. There we go. We can be foul to it. It's cute. It's not there, is it? It's not saved or anything. Bit of a bummer, really. But remember, it is in development. I'm not too worried about it. It's not as quick as some of the other pups, but they're using different avenues to do stuff now, so you get more programs to use on a pup. And so that the ISO will still be under 200, really, at the end of the day. So don't worry about it. Anyway, use it yourself. Download it. Sneaky Linux. I'm going out to have a Wii, actually, tonight. Basically.